the past 40 years, there is no single day that I, I didn't think about October 6th. I was a second year student here at Thammasat University. During a demonstration, I was always in charge of the speakers on the stage. We are part of the movement that brought down the dictatorship in the 1973. All kinds of argument, all kinds of protest, all kinds of dissatisfaction are voiced out, are fought out in the, I mean, literally in the, in the street. The student movement itself turned more and more radical. The students call for a demonstration to counter the effort to bring back the military rules. We did not imagine a massacre. The assault began just after daybreak, and for an hour there was heavy but wild firing, with all sorts of weapons being used, including grenade launchers and recoilless rifles. 5.30, exactly because I look at the watch at the time. There's a weird sound. Boom. I know the explosive is a bomb. I learned later it's M79. It's a police weapon. A little later, people told me that four people died instantly, and quite a number of them were, they lost blood fast. I can see the police moving in that opening. They sit down, knee down, spray the bullet. Walk a bit, knee down, walk a bit, knee down. The state was that corner of the soccer field in front of the, the, the yellow building there. The stage is built, made up of two, two levels of drums. I hit behind the drums and keep talking for, I have no idea for how long, maybe an hour or so. People know, remember what I say, because I keep saying the same thing for over and over. <laughs> Begging the police to stop. We are now. Please stop shooting. We are now. Please stop shooting. We are now. Maybe a hundred times. I don't know what else to say. I saw people lie down on the ground near the, that building. I didn't know. I didn't realize later some of them were killed. I thought that they just lie down. When people escaped, some as much as many as they can, the police shoot from the building in the in the museum which is behind this building, through that channel. So people stopped, we couldn't do anything anymore, so that's it. I went out from the other side of this building down to the river. There was never, never, absolutely never an investigation. The government made it clear to the students, to the university administrators, you better stop because we need reconciliation. We should stop talking. Since then, the whole society didn't talk much about it.